So that comes to the end of my talk. Um, let's repeat a bit. We have a strong success of Java in the server market, and it influenced also the development of the server market of the architectures and standard accepted today and the ones that we need to ag um, agree with. Smalltalk is lacking any real server architecture support in the general. Um, there are individual vendor-specific implementations, but nothing that is used generally. Smalltalk is definitely, although it might be painful for you, not acceptable at real enterprise level architectures. If you come with Smalltalk, they ask you what standards you support and you just um, kicked out or through the door. You don't have a chance to sell Smalltalk as part of an enterprise architecture. Individual applications you might try, but not as part of the architecture. So we learned that JEE improved over 15 years by learning the proper use of abstractions, of metaprogramming, of separating business and framework concerns, and the proposition is to do the same for Smalltalk. And having a JEE connector would allow us to um, use Smalltalk components in a very transparent fashion from a JEE world so that Smalltalk becomes acceptable, a kind of problem invisible to uh, a customer in a big project. So what does it give? It gives existing Smalltalk applications a longer life, definitely. And it introduces new opportunities for smaller projects as part of JE projects. This is my role in the future with Novatech to find uses of small talk in enterprise systems. So one example that I'm just working on is there is the need to, in an explorative way, define missing unit tests, missing um, layer tests for a very big enterprise applications where they just forgot to do our tests, kind of. And um, the problem of discovering this test suite and of running these tests and see if they are any good is a very flexible problem, it's a very agile problem. And so the idea is to do everything here in small talk because it's much cheaper to do it. But then this testing framework should, must be 100% integrated in the JE world. So in the end, this must be JE testing beans of JUnit, but that are actually implemented on the small talk side because the whole testing environment, of course, must be JE. This is one of the requirements, which they didn't fulfill by not writing any tests. All right, that's the end of my um, talk. I might to do a little bit of advertising, if I'm allowed to. Um, Novatech is a very fast-growing company in the German area, German-speaking area, but we are also looking towards China and Dubai. And one of the things that Novatech is doing successfully for many, many years since its foundation is to support student thesis, student projects, with the idea to recruit the students afterwards. So um, if, if you know somebody or if you are yourself are looking for interesting thesis that are a little bit Java, but, and also, as I'm working on it, um, will include Smalltalk, that might be in the area of software analysis, of system discovery, of testing, of optimization tasks, of modeling tasks. Just come to me. If you're looking at job, for a job in this area and are willing to move to Germany, come to me as well. Okay, thank you. Questions? Hello. Um, I also work at uh, an enterprise company in the Netherlands, which also has uh, yeah, large J2 or GEE applications and also a small talk application. And in your description of enterprise architecture, I missed one buzzword that was uh, SOA, service oriented architecture. And in, in our experience, that's also a good way to combine uh, small talk and Java. Uh, through uh, something called an uh, enterprise service bus or something. And when you uh, communicate with a small talk system using messaging, uh, message queuing, it's also easy to get a robust and scalable system uh, without worrying about low level things like uh, green threads or, or threads. You can easily scale up uh, using uh, multiple small talk processes and the, the only infrastructure you need on the Smalltalk side is 
is a good uh, XML parser with the support for namespaces. And then, yeah, you can uh, easily integrate your business functionality on the back-end side and on the front-end side if you want. You can make a Seaside web application which also plugs in the ESP. Okay. Okay, they, one, there was a few, more, a few too many occurrences of the word easy. Um, uh, of course, this... Uh, it this took us a year, but then... Yeah, um, this, this talk is about JE setting. So if you're going for a, a, a SOA approach with web services, for instance, or a messaging approach, of course, um, you don't need to do all these hoops here. Um, but we don't see much of this yet. Um, you see it more maybe in a, a SAP or Oracle environment uh, where this is um, the marketing hype um, at, the, at this time, although it's going for business process um, modeling. Um, no, this is for a, a customer who is running JE environment, and their SOAR and uh, is re not really acceptable. The other thing is um, that's why I'm referring to your easy usage. Um, you still don't have what I would call a robust, scalable server architecture. You still uh, need to write everything yourself on the Smartex side. If you're not using Gemstone, for instance, which I don't know how much of this is supported today. Um, but if you're using VisualWorks or Faro, um, you're pretty much on your own here. And while this approach will help you to push a good bit of the scalability of the server infrastructure architecture on the JE side and just rely on the beans to do the right thing to you. But definitely your approach is, of course, an alternative. I wouldn't say this is the only way to do it, but this is... Um, the result of my thinking, how could I place small talk in an environment where JE is set and it cannot be exchanged or argued against it? Okay, yeah, I understand. Yeah. But I've also worked on, on the Java side, and Java also has some scalability problems. For example, when you have to integrate with even more legacy systems like COBOL, and then they'll end up using a messaging system as well. Well, you have the JCE approach, the Java connector architecture, which you could use for legacy systems. And in this sense, um, Smarter would be a legacy system, which you, is used for distributed transaction for security um, services. Um, well, I'd like to love to have the Java scaling issues on the Smarter side. That would be a great improvement. <laughs> yep. Hi. Uh, I agree with your business case, but I think that if we as a community will make an effort, I don't like to stick to Java. I, I would like to stick to standard technologies. I mean, I don't know how is the, the situation in Europe, but I work for a company. Most of our projects are for the United States, and there is a, a big market for Microsoft technologies. So if I have to make an effort to integrate with other technologies, I would like to think in, in a technology that allowed me to talk not only to Java, but also to, to Microsoft or with Ruby or whatever. So instead of implementing RMI uh, standards, I would like to work with web services, JSON, or something that is more interoperable. Okay. Um. Okay, there are two things here. One is um, the question of the um, technology um, behind it, and the other one is the communication a bit. Okay, so um, the whole point I wanted to make with this shadow container is that it is really helpful to mirror the architecture of the other side, whatever it might be, on the smart side, because having the same concept on both sides and be able to, to synchronize them in their lifetime, in their complete behavior. So making a concept be movable from one to the other side without disturbing anything. Um, this is a strong thing that I wanted to achieve. I want to be able to move a bean from one to the other side in the end. And, have the, and that needs the same architectural thinking, the same designs that you're doing in the end. And so if you're going for the Microsoft world, um, then you need to have a different small talk site, a different small talk architecture if you want to have achieve the same. It's not about how to communicate if it's RMI or if it's web services. This is a transport layer. This is of less importance here. The importance is to be part of the enterprise architecture. And so yes, it is, it is a decision for Java in the end. 
And that's why, what our market is. And it's a big market, believe me. Of course, I, I understand your point, but I'm not so sure to, to want to, be, to have uh, beans on the small talk size. I, I don't like that idea. I think that we can propose our own architecture and provide some ways over standard technologies to implement the communication. I don't, personally, I don't like the, the beans idea, and I know that in enterprise applications, it's not the, the unique solution for that. Ruby and, and Microsoft Technologies has proved they are, they are successful in enterprise environment without using those things. So I think that we as a small dog, we can have our own architecture independent of, of beans. But I recognize that this is your, your business, so okay for me. Okay. Yeah, cool. Um, I also think that uh, we can uh, go with steps to this direction. And I think that the uh, first step is actually web services. Uh, but uh, web services on all small talks, not only uh, on uh, visual works, for instance, which is, I know it's quite well done already, but also on Squeak Faro and others. And this is quite complicated uh, step already, which is not so simple. Then we can uh, be uh, we can communicate on this level to all other systems not only to java but also to microsoft to ruby and all also uh, keep in mind that web services is not only soa web services but they are all rest web services to co to connect with uh, for instance with uh, amazon or with uh, google and others so this can be maybe a first step uh, towards uh, the uh, the goal. Okay, do you hear me? Okay, great. Um, uh, I want to respond to that. Yes, web services is is a good first step because it's there already and it's working for many dialects of small talk. Um, I just want to alert you that the idea is that web services are not the application level communication layer, but they are a transport layer hidden behind a connection framework. So I don't want to use web services at the top level, but at the bottom level, making it completely invisible to the application developer. Um, the idea is the application developer has a small talk component, and if it's not beans, well, name it differently, I think that the bean idea is working well and the same thing should be on the other side and they communicate and use each other and how it is implemented below that level really should be transparent. Um, that's, that's kind of a warning, don't so say we can do web services directly to Google for instance. That would be a different usage of web services here. A good one but it's different. It should be two components on two different language words talking transparently to each other, one representing the computation behavior of the other one that's the facade to the real world outside. That's the idea behind it, okay? Um, Luca? <laughs> you should shout. No, I just wanted to point out some research that is done uh, by Fabrizio Perrin at uh, the University of Bern. So he extracts, um, I, I quote here, recovery and analysis of transactional scope from scattered information in Java enterprise applications. So he reads XML files, he reads Java sources, he extracts annotations, he reads uh, SQL queries, and he builds a model in, in Moose in 